Hey, what's up guys? This is RVC and I'm back again with another video. To keep it short, let's see if the BlackBerry Prev is worth buying in 2017. I bought the BlackBerry Prev brand new for 270 bucks. As you would expect, it came with all the necessary accessories like the user manuals, SIM ejector tool, wall charger, USB cable and a pair of earphones. The specifications of the phone is kinda outdated with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of ROM which is expandable via SD card. It is equipped with Snapdragon 808 and runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Well enough of that, let's jump into the phone itself. The overall build quality is okay, plastic build but it's premium plastic. It's kinda heavy though, but for me it's okay. The 5.4 inch 2K screen is beautiful with AMOLED technology, but it's not as beautiful as what Samsung high-end smartphones offer. Colors are saturated and punchy, and the texts are sharp. It's really hard to see the pixels. Jumping to the camera, the rear 18 megapixel with f2.2 camera takes awesome photos during the daylight, but struggles during low light. In video mode, you have the option of 30 or the cinematic 24 frames per second with 720p all the way to 4K. To be honest, the videos it takes are great and the OIS is a bonus as well. Let's talk about the physical keyboard since it's a Blackberry. When you access the physical keyboard, the phone becomes really tall and using it will definitely attract questions from people. Prepare to answer them. The keyboard doesn't really make typing faster, but more accurate when typing. I love it and I use it most of the time. You can also use swipe gestures on the keyboard to autocomplete words, which is a really nice feature to have. Now let's talk about the downsides. The front camera is terrible, period. If you take a lot of selfies, this will really disappoint you. The battery life is okay, packing 3410mAh battery is just on paper. Heavy users will not last till the end of the day before looking for more juice. Moderate and light users will make it through the entire day with no problem. The other thing is that sometimes, and I mean sometimes, the device is slow and opening many applications can lead to warnings. Another thing that really bothered me is the button between volume up and volume down. It should be customizable to your liking but nope, it just brings the volume settings when you're on home screen or acts as a mute button when watching a video. Overall it's a nice phone and I might partly recommend it. Just weigh the pros and cons before making the decision. Well that's it for now, thanks for watching and if you have any questions please drop it in the comment box below. And please let me know if you'll get one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Share this video and I guess I will have to see you in the next one. Bye.